What's up guys, I'm Paul and welcome to my channel. So it's been a while since I did a review of EKM. In fact, it's been over a year. And as there's been some changes to the EKM platform in that time, I thought it was about time I sat down and did an updated review. Now, for anybody who doesn't know who EKM are or are just unsure of who they are, they are the UK's largest fully hosted e-commerce platform. And they've currently helped over 80,000 individuals and small businesses start selling online here in the UK. And they are a UK focused and dedicated company. So if you're looking for an alternative to something like Shopify for your UK based business, then EKM is a company that you should consider. But are they any good? Well, that's why I'm here doing a review. I'm gonna give my opinion on the EKM platform. I'm gonna look at things like the pricing, an overview of what you get for your money, and then I'm actually gonna delve in and see what the EKM platform is like to use before giving my opinions at the end of the video as to whether you should consider it or not. So with the introduction out of the way, let's jump in and start looking at the EKM platform. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the pricing of the EKM platform. And in September 2021, EKM updated their prices. And now the prices for their basic package cost £34.99 a month. The standard package is £69.99 a month. The advanced package is £209.99 a month. And the pro package, which is their top package, is £599.99 a month. That's a lot of nines. But this new updated pricing does mean that EKM is now one of the more expensive options when it comes to launching an e-commerce website, especially at the entry level with the basic package being more expensive a month than their competition. And with all the EKM packages, you do also get turnover based pricing, which means you have an allocation of turnover every single year. And when you go over this, you are automatically moved up to the next package. And with the basic package, this starts at £50,000 a year. When you go into standard, this goes up to £150,000 a year. On the advanced package, this is up to £1 million a year in annual sales. And then the pro package is a million pound plus. There's no kind of upper limit on that. But what do you actually get for your money? Well, EKM offer a lot of features and there's a combination of features that are built into the platform and also features that you can customize and install yourself so you can kind of pick and choose if you want to. Now, I'm not going to go through all of the EKM features because there's loads. As you can see, this is my full written review of EKM and there's a lot of features. I'm not going to go over these individually because it'd basically just be me reading off the screen, which would be really, really boring. And this review is probably going to be long enough anyway. But if you want to go and check out my detailed breakdown of these features, I will leave a link to my full written review in the description below so you can go and check those out for yourself. But one thing I do want to talk about when it comes to the EKM features is their evolution mode, which is a rather innovative thing that EKM actually come up with a few years ago. And it is a really cool feature because the evolution mode is where you actually get the use of EKM's evolution team, which is a team of specialists across many different departments, things like design, sales and marketing, conversion rates. There's lots of experts within that team. And what you do is you actually go into your dashboard and you request a review from the evolution team. And what they do is they go through and have a look at your website and come up with some recommendations for your site that maybe could increase improve your website, potentially start getting you more sales, or just make your website more profitable. And they'll give you a list of these recommendations, and then you go through and see which ones you want to implement and ones you don't. And then once you give them the green light, they will go through and do it for you. Now, this is only if you're on the standard, advanced, or the pro package. If you're on the basic package, you will get this review, but it's up to you to go through and implement those changes for yourself. And it does also depend on the package you're on as well as to how regularly you get to request this review from the evolution team. If you're on the basic or the standard package, you get this once a year. But if you're on the advanced package, you get this once a month, which is like having your own team of e-commerce experts that you can go and send your site to and say, what can I be doing better? Better. And when you go onto the pro package, you get unlimited requests. So if you wanted to, you could probably do this on a weekly basis. Well, that's what you're paying for. But this is a really good feature in my opinion, because sometimes just having a third party look at your website, go through it and give a proper critical analysis of it can uncover some things that you might not see yourself. I've had this with my own websites in the past where I thought that was amazing. Somebody else has gone on and used it or why doesn't this work or what's wrong with this? So having a third party actually look at your site and then be able to actually produce recommendations that they can then implement for you 
is a really good feature in my opinion. Now following on from evolution mode, it leads me quite nicely into support. Because when you're using a fully hosted e-commerce platform, you wanna know that there's a support team behind you should you run into any issues that you could contact, so hopefully they can resolve the issue for you. And eCam certainly isn't short of options when it comes to support. And their support is also really highly rated. If you go and read any of their customer reviews with things like Trustpilot, it's one of the kind of messages that always comes through is how good the quality of their support is. And I've contacted Ecamm support a few times with my own demo site when I've had questions about how to do certain things and I've had quick and good responses from whoever I've spoke to at EKM and I've never struggled to get in contact with them either and when it comes to contacting them there are quite a few options available because in your EKM dashboard there's a live chat icon in the bottom right hand corner if you go into the help section you can also contact support and they do allow support via phone and also email as well and support is available between 8 a.m and 6 p.m monday to friday and 9 a.m and 5 30 p.m on saturday and sunday so you do get seven day support between regular business hours here in the uk which is really good now if you're on the advanced or the pro package you do also get 24 7 emergency support as well so should anything go wrong with your site at one o'clock in the morning you can contact ekm and they will do their best to try and resolve the issue for you another thing with ekm as well is whenever you sign up to EKM you will get a 30 minute introductory call from one of the EKM team to help you through getting your site set up which I think is really good and you also get to ask any questions that you have about the EKM platform in this introductory phone call and then if you move up onto the standard package you also get your own dedicated account manager for six months and if you go onto the advanced or pro package you get your own dedicated account manager permanently as well. And talking about signing up to EKM, it was something I should have covered in the pricing section, is the free trial you get when you sign up to EKM. Now, EKM have been really generous and given me a unique referral link, which gives you a 28 day free trial over the standard 14 day free trial. So you get to try the platform out for four weeks to really test it to see if it's gonna work for you and your business. Now, when it comes to actually signing up for the trial, you do need to give your payment details before you actually can sign up to this free trial. And if you decide that you wanna cancel the free trial EKM isn't for you, you do need to let EKM know. And you can do this by either contacting the support team and just letting them know that you wanna cancel the trial, or you can actually do it from the dashboard. I'm not 100% sure where it is because I did try this, but it was a while ago and I've forgotten. So if, I think it's if you go into settings and then you go down to your plan, I think there's an option in here to cancel your trial, but it should be in the settings section somewhere. That's where I found it. And it'll just ask for your reasons as to why you want to cancel the free trial. Now, before I get into what the EKM platform is actually like to use, I do just want to quickly look at the performance of the EKM platform because I have tested it out like I do with every single e-commerce platform I test. So if we go onto my written review, scroll down it's somewhere down here somewhere yes here we go ekm or web hosting and performance and when it comes to the hosting environment that EKM offers, you get unlimited bandwidth, unlimited storage, PCI compliant servers, 99.9% .9 uptime, and also 24 seven server monitoring, which all sounds great, but what's this actually mean in reality? Well, I put them to the test by taking five of their customer example sites, running them through Pingdom's speed test tool using their London server, and also Google's PageSpeed Insights to check their mobile and also desktop performances. So how did EKM do? Well, they did really, really well because their average load time was 1.12 seconds, which put them towards the top of the charts of all the platforms I tested. And honestly, anything around about a second is absolutely great when it comes to load time. Mobile score was also good at 55 out of 100. Obviously, I'd like this to be a little bit higher because of mobile is becoming more and more important when it comes to e-commerce. Lots of people are using their mobile devices and the desktop score was really good at 83 out of 100. And overall, as I say, these scores put them towards the top of the tables when it comes to e-commerce performance testing for UK platforms. So with the performance out of the way, let's actually look at what eCam is like to use because I'd imagine that's what you wanna know. So let's go into the eCam dashboard. And when you first sign into Ecamm, you'll be greeted by this homepage. Now, this is a short setup guide that's available and there is more options available when you first sign up. There's actually six you can choose from and you can see these options here. But I've already been through and done some because obviously I've been testing the platform out. And this is a really good basic guide to help you get started. 
There's only one thing missing from this, and this is something that pretty much all e-commerce platforms seem to miss from their setup guides, and that is to set up your terms and conditions and your privacy policy. I think this is a prompt that should be there because it's a legal part of setting up an e-commerce website. You need these two documents in place before you actually go live with your website. So a prompt to these would be nice to see. But overall, the Ecamm dashboard is quite a nice place to be. And it's quite different from a lot of other e-commerce platforms that just go for the kind of standard sidebar navigation menu. Instead, they've gone for a top navigation menu, which I say is quite different and it makes it a bit more visually appealing to actually go in and use EKM. Now, when it comes to the navigation menu, there are seven options available. You've got your main dashboard, which is basically your dashboard homepage. You've got your shop section, which I'll cover a little bit more in a second. You've got your order management, your analytics, your design, the features. Features are, these are the ones that you can pick and choose that are available on your store. And these basically work like apps basically they're single one click installations and you can also remove them in a couple of clicks as well so this is where all the features are that you can pick and choose for your website let's say they're just one click installations and then you've got settings which is where you set up things like your payment gateways shipping options and things like that so let's go back and look at the shop section because this was always one of my biggest bugbears with EKM so if we go into the shop section what my main issue was with Ecamm was there was almost too much going on with this section because there was elements for managing your inventory so you could add new products, you could add new categories but also there was options for design elements as well so if you clicked on edit design you'd see that you could edit images and there was just things you could do design wise to your store and I just didn't like the fact that this was all kind of mashed into one with the way it worked before. This has changed somewhat with EKM because they've released a new theme and it's changed things up. Because if you used to go into the design section before and you used to click on the edit option for your theme and you go on to edit layout, there wasn't many options available. There were some predefined sections available for your theme and there was nothing you could add. It was quite restrictive in what you could actually do in terms of design. And I didn't really like this. I always felt this was a bit of a kind of Achilles heel of EKM but they've released a new theme and with this theme have come some awesome changes. So if we go back into design, we leave that one. We go back into design, we go into edit and then we go on to change theme. It will bring up all the themes that are available for EKM. And as you can see, there's quite a good selection, but these are the old themes that are available. And once it updates, it will actually show your current theme, but also this new theme that's available, which is Arial. So if we go onto this and apply it to the shop, it will add a few changes to Ecamm. And the first thing you'll notice is it's changed from shop to products. And I'm gonna cover this a little bit more in a second. But the first thing is I wanna go into the theme customizer, which is a new addition to Ecamm and a very, very welcome one. And and what you can do now with this new theme is you have a lot more control over it because all the design elements are in one section. In fact, it's almost like they watched my last video and took note of what I said. Personally, I would prefer it if all the design elements were under the design section because it would just make customizing your theme, which I'm going to go over in a little bit, a little bit easier to do. But this is a very welcome change because what you can do is you can remove these sections there's also a load of sections that you can add so you can really customize the look and feel of your page i do really like this it's definitely a welcome addition then in theme settings there's things you can change like fonts there's options for your navigation menu your info bar now one thing i would like to see change with ecamm will be the option to build your own custom navigation menu because from everything i've tried this isn't available at the moment it auto add things to your menu so i'd like to be able to build my own custom navigation menu because it's just a bit of control I like over my website because there's certain things I might want to remove there's certain things I might want to add and I want the control over that so that's one improvement I would like to see made to Ecamm is the ability to add a custom navigation menu but overall the settings are really good it's definitely an improvement over what was available before and I say it's almost like they listen to me so that's what it's like with the new theme customization. Definitely a welcome improvement. And when you go on, you can edit all of these sections. You can choose a text. It's just lots of options available. It's definitely worth going through and having a play around with the new theme customizer because it is definitely a good improvement. But 
let's talk about products. So if we go back into the product section, which was the shop section, what it's done now is it's removed all of the design elements. And so it's just about managing your inventory in here now. So what you can do is you can go through and you can edit your product and it brings up some options, whether you want to edit it, delete it, move it, whatever. But let's look at what it's like to actually manage your inventory. So let's click on the add new product button. And this brings up this pop-up menu. And this is quite a nice page to actually use. But I do wish it filled the page a little bit more so I had more room to work when I'm actually working through all these sections. And as you can see, all these options are grayed out to start with. And to make those available, you actually need to put in a title for your product. So let's call this test product one. Super original, I know. And then you can add your description, you can add your price, and you can go through and add things like variations, you can add images, you can add attributes, you can add options for things like gift wrapping and things like that. Set your delivery charges for it, then choose which category you want it to go into. There's also more options available here. And if you add some of the features that are available from the features section, you will also get more options in the more options section as well, if that makes sense. So that's how you add a new product. We'll click on save with that one and then we'll close that. And to add a category is equally as simple. So you just click on add category and it brings up another pop-up menu. You just need to enter the name for it and then you get some options as well. And you can also choose whether this is a child or parent category to other categories that you've created, which allows you to create a good kind of product hierarchy for your EKM store. But what about when it comes to actually managing your inventory? This is the one thing I still don't really like about this new product section is as standard if you want to go through and find your products you actually have to go through and navigate through your website so i'd have to come down to the our product section click on edit product click edit and it'll bring this screen back up now i don't think this is the most optimal workflow because i don't want to be navigating through my site trying to find my products but they do have a feature in the feature section that's really good so if we go into features, you'll see I've already installed it and this is the advanced inventory manager. And if we click on this, it brings up a much cleaner interface for managing your products. And you can add a product and you can add a category from this feature. And what you can do is you can click on the product and you can edit lots of things. There's lots of options available. You can edit the price, you can edit the product code. You can also filter out your products as well, which is pretty awesome. And to me, this is what should be the product section because it's a really good tool. It's actually a really powerful tool and it just makes your inventory management so much easier. You can go through and find products by category. You can search for your products. It's just a much better tool, in my opinion, than what they've got set up in the product section at the moment. And I say, for me, this is what should be in there. And if I had an EKM store and I was actually running one live, I wouldn't even bother going into the product section. I would just go straight into the advanced inventory manager and that's where I would manage all of my inventory. Now this is a completely free tool to use. You don't have to pay any extra for it. Same with a lot of other features when it comes to EKM, I'll cover that briefly now. There's only a couple that are either linked to advanced plans, which is like the API or the trade discounts. And there's a couple of premium ones which include the web statistics and also the postcode lookup, which are paid options as well. But for me, the advanced inventory manager is the one that I would install straight away because it just makes managing your inventory so much easier because it's such a powerful tool. So that's inventory management. I still think there's an improvement that could be made, which I've just discussed. But what about managing your orders? Because after managing your inventory, this is hopefully where you're going to spend most of your time. Now, order management with EKM is really good. So if we go into orders, you'll see that all the orders that's available. Huh, Paul's awesome. Wonder who created that one. But there are quite a few things you can do. So if you select that product, you can change the order status. You can also choose to print it as well. And you can actually choose to print packing slips and you can buy these directly from EKM and these have got sticky labels. And if you've got lots of orders, you're processing lots of orders, this can save you so much time just having a peelable label with the customer's address on it. It saves so much time. It was one of the best investments I ever made in my e-commerce business was having sticky labels. Just 
it saves so much time. But there are some options when it comes to layout, how you want to print your packing slips off. Now, if you want to export your orders, say you're using third party order management software or accounting software, things like that, what you need to do is you need to install the import export feature. So if you go back into features, it's around here somewhere, import export. What you can do with this one is if you install this, you can then export all of your order information via CSV format, but you do have to go into features, then go into import export to actually do that. But you can also export things like product information as well, if you want to export all of your products and upload them to somewhere else. So that's a quick overview of what EKM is like to use. Now, I don't want to go into too much detail in this video because this video would just go on forever and a day. But I do think there's been some real welcome changes to EKM, mainly with the theme customization. The fact that they moved it all into one section with the new theme is amazing. And hopefully all the new themes that are going to be released in the future will have the same setup because it's definitely a welcome improvement to EKM. I still would like to see the advanced inventory manager go into the product section. If they did that, I think the dashboard would work really well and it would be more optimized in terms of workflow. But do I think Ecamm is a good option? Yes, I think Ecamm is really good. They're definitely moving in the right direction with the changes they're making. The platform is easy to use. The sites also perform really well as well. And that gives like a good base for building a successful website. Plus you've also got things like the support that's available and the things like evolution mode as well. Now, is it a good alternative to Shopify? Once again, yes, I definitely think so. And the fact that they're a UK focused company, they do understand the UK market and they've helped a lot of businesses start in the UK and they've helped a lot of businesses become very successful in the UK is really a good indication that EKM do understand the market and what they're doing. So I definitely recommend giving them a try. And as I say, there's an exclusive 28 day free trial if you go through my referral link in the description below. So that brings me to the end of review. I hope you found this helpful. If you have, please drop a like on the video because it does help me with the almighty YouTube algorithm to help grow my channel out. So thank you so much for watching guys. I really, really do appreciate it. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do by buying me a coffee using the link in the description below. So thanks so much for watching guys. I do really appreciate it. Stay awesome and I'll see you in the next one.